1.4 billion tons of new copper is needed to reach net zero by 2050. Talking copper here with Max Resources and Raheem, given your background in financial markets, why did you decide for copper? Uh, thank you. I'll keep it brief. I, I spent um, over half a decade as a, as a fund manager and, and, and then a banker, and now I have my own family office. So I'm an investor also in Max, and my group of investors, we, we represent about one out of five shares in the company. The important thing about four years ago was to find the best leverage to a metal that was mispriced and I think will be a double from here as a commodity. And I saw that and our thesis was that copper is going to be that metal. Now, let me tell, give you a fact here that the volume, you know, everyone today is talking about net zero. Five years ago, it was kind of a quieter conversation. You look at the G20 meetings, you look at any global um, get together of, of uh, nations uh, or corporations, they're always talking about, can we go net zero? Now to go get to net zero, you need green metals. Not, not coal, not thermal coal, not diesel. You need copper, because copper is one of the best conductors economically. Now, to give you an example, the world is moving towards achieving net zero by the year 2050. So that's a thesis that I like. Who is going to benefit from that? Well, copper is one of the primary metals that is going to be favored in that demand and supply equation. Now, if you look in the history of all of humanity, the calculation says 700 million tons total copper has been produced over the course of entire humanity's history 3000 years now by 2050 which is 27 years away call that one generation uh, the demand on copper will be uh, double that in one generation that is 1.4 billion tons of new copper is needed to reach net zero by 2050 so how do you plug that equation it's you have to find new deposits rich economic for copper and I believe the scale size quality jurisdiction where max is puts it in the lead to be one of the future uh, providers of copper to a copper producing company